Hey what's up guys this is Aneshik from blog2.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the testimonial widget of the Elementor Pro uh, plugin. This widget has been recently added to the list uh, in fact few days ago two or three days ago this plugin has been this widget has been added. This is very very useful uh, widget according to me let me show you I have created two different examples using this widget and in this tutorial I'll show you how to create both of both of them and I'll show you everything you want you need to know about that particular widget okay so let's see okay so this is the first one the full uh, full width the uh, slider testimonial okay you, as you can see we can give some animation we can change the color okay and we'll see more about it we can change many different things over here let's see the second one this is the second one this was a slider type and this is not a slider type and i'll also show you how to change this background color into a gradient color as you can see this is a mixture of two different color and this looks amazing and similarly uh, matching to this color the gradient color i have changed the border color for all these three and also i have also changed the designation color and so on and there is a background color a white background color and this really looks awesome very very useful one now before proceeding further make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos also give a thumbs up to this video if it is helpful this testimonial widget is only available for elementor pro it is not available with the free plugin so what you have to do go open a new tab type in blogtoot.com slash elementor this link is also given in the video description below Okay, so first we have to purchase the full version, the pro version, only then you can use this and it is worth it guys, believe me, this pro version is worth it. I have made uh, many different videos and I'm making more videos and in future I'll be making many more videos of how to make, how to use this pro version. Okay, so what I have, what you have to do, click on buy now button okay you have three different plans over here personal business unlimited if you have only one site you should go with the personal one if you have three uh, different sites then you should go with business one if you have unlimited sites then you can go with the unlimited plan this is basically for you know web developers freelancers and those kind of people for you and i it should be personal or business whatever you have you can just click on buy now and purchase this thing if you don't know how to install pro version on your website there is a video link given in the video description below you can watch that video it will really help you okay so let's come back to this section okay so let's create our testimonials for that first i'll create a page so that i can show you everything okay let's name it anything for example let's name it test and let's select a page template page builder blank you can select any page template according to your choice now click on this button which says edit with elementor okay so we have a blank page now let's see what we have to do we have to create this slider first so what you have to do under pro elements you will see your testimonial carousel just drag this thing over here okay so by default this is how it looks now let me go through each and every options the first one are the slide options and we have three different slides over here as you can see if you want to uh, duplicate a slide you just click on this button if you want to delete a slide you click on this X button okay now let's expand this item and see what all things are there so this is the content if you want to change the content from here you can change the content okay you can type it anything okay as you can see your text comes over here okay so let's let me just undo all those things so I want the same content if you want you can add an image let me show you click on that button let's add this image click on insert media so we have our image over there you can add, change the name to my name or your name whatever name you want you can change the title the designation okay so what i'll do i'll just duplicate this thing three times okay so i have three things over here okay so this was the very basic setting about slides the name title and so on now skin default or bubble i'll select default one okay now layout this is very important this is the inline one now if you want image tagged one you can select this one this is how it will look image above this is the one which i have used over here this is the image above one so i'll select image above you have many options image left image right you can select whatever you like okay i have selected the image above one slides per view 
you have to set it to default because we want to make it slider but we'll when we'll make this one we'll set it to one okay but now we'll make it slider we will make it to default you can increase or decrease the width over here as you can see i have decreased the width so all the content are divided into three different lines so here also i'll just decrease the width to maybe 73 pixels or whatever you like okay now we have some additional options let's see what are those first is the arrows arrows so as you can see these are the arrows if you don't want the arrows arrows you can hide them i want them you cannot see it now because it is uh white and we cannot see that with that background when when i'll go to style options you can see it better now if you want these dots you can select it from here if you want fractions you can select fractions so when you select fractions you get this two by three okay you can also select progress so at the top you can see the progress i uh want the dots you can select the trans uh, transition duration this is un in milliseconds so this is at present to half half a second if you want it to autoplay you can select yes autoplay speed pause interaction image size full fine so these were the basic options about this uh, particular widget now let's go to style first one is the space between let's increase and decrease and let's see what happens this nothing happens because we have one single column and this is basically to increase the space between the columns now this is important the background color but we don't want to change anything from here because as you can see we will change the whole section background color and here when you, when you change the background color you only this portion uh, background color changes will to see this option over here as you can see only this portion background color is changed so that option will be used over there but now we don't need this so just clear it off border size if you want any border you can select now let me select five pixels so as you can see you see a five pixel border over here we don't want anything so let's put zero if you want if, if you have border you can also change that border color obviously you can add a padding for example let's me foot put 50 so as you can see uh, it has got 50 pixels padding from all the sides but we don't want that also so i'll make it zero again border radius we don't want that go to content so here you can change all the settings about this content these three different lines so if you want to increase or decrease the gap you can do so you can also change the color of the text also okay as you can see i want it dark gray so i'll put it this you can change the typography okay the size of the font and so on whatever you like it i want the default settings are better fine you can increase the line uh, height as you can see the line height increases the height or the space between different lines but this was the content now here is the name option so this is the name nayar shake you can increase or decrease the size you can change the color for example if you want to make it green you can make it green if you want to make it some different color red whatever you like it pink you can make that you can also change the typography setting to increase or decrease the size change the weight change the style of the font whatever this is the title you can also do the same settings with the title now let's come to image okay so here first option is the image size you can increase or decrease the size of the image so we want to increase the size to maybe 200 okay image gap if you want to uh, add a gap border yes we do want a border but we don't want a black border we want to change the color to maybe blue or maybe red whatever color you like so let uh, let's make this you can change the color to anything you want now border width if you want to increase the border width you can do so okay i want a very thin one so this looks much better border radius okay so this will change the shape of this uh, particular image the more you increase it the more circular it will become as you can see when you put it to 100 100 percent it will become a perfect round shape now navigations okay so navigation includes this arrows this this dots and everything first is the arrow settings you have to increase the size of the arrow fine and also change the color to dark gray now i hope you can see the arrows okay you can also increase the size of these dots so let's increase that and you can also change the color over here so you can uh, change it to blue if you want as you can see now we have a blue 
Fine, so these were all the basic settings about uh, uh, this uh, slider type of testimonial. Now let's click on save. Let's add a background color like we have done over here. Okay, so select this edit section, go to style, select classic background color, color, give it white. Okay, now we have a white background color and this looks terrific, man. This really looks awesome. And we need to add some padding. Okay, so let's add 50 pixels. Okay, so this looks much better. Click on save. Okay, now let's see uh, how this looks in a new page. So click on this X button, click on view page. Okay, so this is how it looks really, really amazing. Now you can also add some animations if you want. Okay, so here under advanced, first let's select this one, select this uh, uh, testimonial, go to advance. Here is the entrance animation. Let's select any one of this. For example, let's select this shake. And as you can see, the animation is done. We can increase or decrease the duration of the animation. You can make it slow, fast. For example, if you make it slow, this is what happens. Fine. So you can just click on save. Let's refresh this page. Okay, you can see the animation over here. Now let's add this testimonial. This is the most beautiful testimonial section which I have seen. This is really, really beautiful, really amazing. Okay, so let's do that again. Come back over here. The beginning procedure are almost the same. Okay, so first what you have to do, you have to bring your testimonial carousel over here. Now we want only one item over here. So we'll delete both the items. We'll change the image to whatever you like. Click on insert media. Fine, you can change the name title from your skin default layout. We want image above center align. That's fine. Okay, slide per view. We want only one because we don't want to make it slide. Actually, go to additional options, just hide the arrows and just switch off this autoplay. Go to style. This is the slide options not needed because we don't have a slide. Go to image. Increase the size of the image. Okay, you can add a border to the image. You can change the color of the border to whatever color you like. Fine. We have border width if you want to increase the width of the border. Okay, it's all up to you. Border radius, we have seen what that is. Now click on save. Go to advance. Fine, now go to background color. We need to change the background color as I said you earlier. Go to classic, select the color, select white. So we have a white background color. You can also add a border color to this particular thing. Let me show you how. Select border, select solid instead of border type solid. And you can increase or decrease the width. Let me make it uh, maybe two pixels or three pixels. Let's change the color to green. Okay, so as you can see, we have a green border color. You can also increase the radius uh, of this uh, to make it more circular. Let's make it 50. And as you can see, the corners have become rounded. Okay, so click on save. You can here also you can add animations if you want. Fine, go to uh, element style, entrance animation. Or uh, maybe for this, we want a fade in from left. Now what I will do, we will copy this or duplicate this column two more times. Fine. So this is how it looks like. Now select this one. And for this, we will change the animation. This is fade in left. We want this, the extreme right one to fade in from right. Okay, not this one, this one. Go to advance. Fade in right. And this one we want maybe fade in from left, the middle one. Okay, select that, go to advance and maybe fade in from down. Fine, so this looks much better. Okay, so we have a background color like this. I just changed some settings over here if you noticed. Okay, so just to show you how it looks, if you don't want, if you want the exact, if you want the exact same, then I'll show you that also, don't worry. Okay, so first, just delete all these things. Delete the border. We don't want a border for that. If you need this, delete also the radius. Okay, so let me delete this column first. This column. Okay, so this is how it looks like exactly like this one. 
also we need to decrease the size uh, of this uh, text okay so go to content in fact go to style content typography and change this size to whatever you like okay 18 pixels click on save fine now duplicate this uh, row okay so this looks exactly like this click on save just minimize this just to see how it looks like okay now let's add this background color so just bring this back select this edit section go to style background color now instead of classic select gradient okay now we have to select the two color first we have at the top blue and at the bottom the pink color okay so this is how it looks like we also need to add some space so go to padding 50 pixels padding from all the sides if you want to increase the padding in case you can do so this bottom color is very dark i want to make it lighter so i'll select second color and i'll decrease the opacity and i as you can see this looks much better click on save Okay guys, so this is it for this tutorial. This is how you use the testimonial widget. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also give a thumbs up to this video. If you have any doubt, if you want to ask me anything, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you guys. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching this video.